I was taking drugs, I was smoking weed, I was drinking to get my mind off of it. You know, I just didn't feel like myself anymore. Hmm. Only on Fox here tonight. An inside look at a prostitution scheme police say was run by a former client ISD teacher and her son, Roger McGee. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle has an exclusive interview with a young woman who says she was a victim in the 2022 case that led to this arrest. He joins us live from the Harris County Jail. Sherman. It's a really sad, sad story, Caroline and Anthony. The, the girl and her mother said that this was a really traumatic time in their lives. They were crying as they told this to me. They decided to speak to us after seeing Kedrick Grigsby was arrested earlier this week. They say that Grigsby would often interact with the girls during their time working as sex workers for McGee. We want to warn you, some of the details in this case, pretty disturbing. When he picked me up from the front of my apartment, um, he was running everything down to me. And it was basically like I had no way out. A 17 year old woman that we're referring to as Jane Doe tells Fox 26 about the time she spent working as a prostitute for Roger McGee. The man was arrested in November 2022 for solicitation of prostitution and trafficking one day after Jane Doe was found in Hotel Royale off FM 1960. Jane says she met McGee through a mutual friend and told her McGee would take care of her and give her money. She left out the part of that I had to sell my body. Jane says she started out walking along the Bissonette track. I was just seeing all these women half naked, all these strange guys yelling, basically barking at me. A week later, her pictures were placed on websites online. She said she and two other young girls would each have sex with at least 10 different men each night in various hotels. Jane and her mother were arguing at the time of her disappearance. October 7th, 2022 was the last time her mom heard from her. She got into Jane's Instagram messages and reached out to a man she had never seen before. I said, hey, have you seen my kid? I've been looking for her. He responded back and said, Roger McGee responded back and said, I don't know this but in November, her daughter contacted her from a private number, threatening to end her life. Her mom, along with the police, found Jane in the hotel in horrible shape from being abused and drugged. Jane says McGee's mother, Kedrick Grigsby, the former Klein ISD teacher who was arrested for the same charges this week, would interact with her often. I kept telling them people, I said, go arrest the mama <laughs> because my baby told me that she was the one getting them hotel rooms. And I said, well, no, mommy, she a church going lady. She's so nice. When I met her, she was nice. I said, no, I have a son too. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to keep getting rooms for underage girls for my son. Wow. Well, there's so much more that we can't fit into a newscast. We're going to have an extended version of this interview on Fox Local later on tonight. Uh, Kedra Grigsby and her son both await their days in court. Also want to remind everybody that for the second time this week, Klein ISD said that the claims made in a Wednesday press conference were false. They did everything they could to get Grigsby out of the campus, out of the way of Klein ISD students after they found out that she was allegedly accused or accused of uh, all the allegations that we heard about just now. Reporting from Harris County Jail, Sherman Cell, Fox 26 News. Absolutely heartbreaking. Sherman, thank you so much.